Hey guys, Ken Pooch Van Druten here. Uh, I thought today maybe we'd talk a little bit about uh, drum bus compression, uh, specifically parallel drum bus compression, and the way that I kind of handle that. Um, so um, the product that we're going to be using is uh, LV1. Uh, it's the Waves mixer. It's a software-based mixer, 64 inputs. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, do go check it out. It is an amazing sounding product. Um, and it has Waves plugins built into it. Um, it's a great little mixer. I use it all the time. Um, so uh, what I've done is uh, a session that has virtual playback. Um, it's an artist. Uh, her name is Tina Carroll. She's Ukrainian. Um, and she's badass. She's really great. Um, her band is amazing. The drummer is Devin Taylor, who was the drummer from Justin Bieber. Um, so, uh, yeah. So what I thought is maybe I just play you a little bit of the full band. Um, so you have an idea of what the whole picture of it is. I'll play you about a quarter of the song and then we'll delve into it and start listening to, you know, uh, the drums by themselves and, and listen to the different buses, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So here's the LV one. Um, and, uh, here's the song. Check it out. Впервые так влюблен, неизбежно не из того, Небесами исцелен, как последнее исповедь. Ты идешь на свет мечты, что зависла над пропастью, А безумие подвесны, красоты. All right, so you get the idea. Um, that's uh, all the band, obviously. Um, but uh, let's have a listen to this with just the drums uh, so that you guys can get an idea of what that is like. Um, so here is that. Let's see, let me see if we can get this over here. Uh, here's the drums by themselves. Cool, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, bus compression, about how I do that. Um, basically, it is a total of three buses traveling to the master bus. The first bus is a stereo bus that has uh, kick, snare, and the toms in it. The second bus is the crush bus, and it also has kick, snare, and all the toms in it. Um, and then there's a third bus that's a cymbal bus, uh, basically, I don't like my cymbals to be kind of crushed uh, along with the other two buses. So I send them outside of those two uh, drum crushed buses, um, and uh, I seem to get a better result that way. So three things traveling to the master bus. Let's have a look. Um, I use the SSL bus compressor. Um, now, make sure as far as latency goes... The, the right way to make sure that you have um, your latency in order is always to use the same plugins on both buses, okay? Um, so I always um, put a SSL bus compressor on the main drum bus and then an SSL bus compressor on the crush bus. Uh, and that way you know that both of those buses are in alignment with each other. Um, if you were to put a different plugin um, uh, only on one of those buses, you would start to hear comb filtering because of the latency factor. So always remember, same plugins on both buses. I don't care what plugins you use, but for me, I use the SSL bus compressor. So here is the main bus. You can see, um, you know, this, this just tickles it just a little bit. Maybe the toms get into it.
So you can see it's just barely tickling it just a little bit, all right? Um, so let's have a look at the crushed version. Here's the crush. Cool, so you get the idea. There's two different buses. One's kind of just tickling, one is, uh, you know, crushing it. Um, let's solo up those buses so you can have a listen to what's going on. Let me mute the effects. Uh, and here is just the main drum bus. And here is the crush. Cool, and then together. Here's with the effects. So that's basically parallel drum compression. Um, you know, I'll talk about a bunch of other stuff in some of my videos coming up. Um, you know, obviously the effects and, you know, all those kind of things. We'll have a look at some of that. Um, but anyway, that's parallel bus compression on the drums. Um, use it to your advantage. It works really well. Um, you know, what it does is it lets the transient go through in the crush bus, right? Just the transient and it squashes the rest of it. Um, whereas in the main drum bus, you're kind of getting the full body of the whole kit. And the combination of those two things kind of gives impact to the transient. So uh, that's what parallel drum bus compression is. That's what I do uh, anyway. I uh, hope you like it. Um, hey, follow me on uh, Instagram, uh, Frontout House, uh, sorry, F O H underscore engineer underscore pooch uh, on Instagram or on Facebook. It's at F O H pooch. Uh, F-O-H Engineer Pooch, <laughs> sorry. And uh, my YouTube channel is Pooch Sound Engineer. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy these videos and um, we'll see you on the next one.